everyone, I'm coming at you with the weird tag today. I thought I'd keep things fun and light because I feel like my last video I shared was way too serious and I'd like to show off some of the more fun, lighter, comical sides of me, which I feel like is pretty much all sides of me. I'm not normally a very serious person. I'm pretty outgoing and I hope that comes across today. Also, give me a break. I just started YouTube but I'm not super comfortable in front of the camera yet. So I hope this video helps as a guideline so that I can kind of be more loosey-goosey and I'm sure when I reflect back on my videos a year from now I will see a progression, I hope, of me being more comfortable and more my true self for you guys and not so stiff with stiff material and boring content. So I hope this is a lot more fun and I hope you enjoy it. So let's dive in. Our first question on the weird tag is what is a nickname only family calls you? Now this is the question that when I read it I thought there is no way I am doing this tag or I absolutely have to do this tag. And the reason being is I have the worst nickname in the history of nicknames. Yes, when I grew up until, well, I still get called it, but mostly up until I got married, my nickname was Pooberstink. Yes, P-O-O-B-E-R-S-T-I-N-K, Pooberstink. Now, I don't know if it's because my dad was mourning the loss of having yet another girl. I am the youngest of four girls, and I don't know if he just needed something comical to laugh at, but that's the nickname he gave me when I was born, and the whole family picked it up like wildfire. And it had its own nicknames of itself. It would, I would be Pooby, or Stink, or Stinker, or anything that you could shorten from Poob or Stink. That was my name. I was never called Jen, Jennifer, or Jenny, which is my name. I was always called Stinks. Um, I remember even being grocery shopping with my sister, and we would be on two different aisles, and she would call out for me, Stinks, what kind of chips do you want for the movie, and things like that, and it was terrible. It was not enjoyable. It was not a sense of endearment, a term of endearment, or a sweet nothing, or anything that was warm and cuddly. It was a terrible nickname. And now Autumn has had the privilege of being the Pooper Sting 2.0, and now she gets called it. So apologize, Autumn, but that's life, that's family. So not the greatest. What's a weird habit of yours? A weird habit of mine is... I don't do it anymore, but apparently I used to always do this when I talk to people. I have no idea why, but it's just what I did. Not really to like strangers or people in professional settings, but around like friends or I don't know. Just always do this. Really weird. My next question is, do you have any weird phobias? I don't think I have anything that's really weird. I mean, my biggest phobia is like mice and rats, which isn't really strange. It's not a shocker. Everyone is scared of mice and rats. Well, not everyone. Um, but yeah, I, would, I grew up in a very old farmhouse, and we always got a family of mice in every winter. And every night until we got rid of that family of mice, we killed them, um... I would have to sing myself to sleep at night, hum songs in my head because I could hear them scurrying in between the walls and it would freak me out. Uh, this past year in our house that we're in now, we thought we had a mouse problem and we couldn't catch it. And a month went by and we were still finding droppings we could still hear scurrying and we didn't know where it was coming from. And then once we did catch it a month later, we discovered that it was a rat, a rat in our house. So, yeah, that was terrible. I refused to look at the photo that proved it was a rat, but that is what I'm told, that it had the long tail and the big teeth that screamed rat. And I guess rats are more or sorry, are more cautious and mice are more curious, so mice get um, attracted to traps more than rats will, so that's why they're hard to catch. So, yeah, we've never had to deal with that again, and I'm so thankful because I cannot stand mice. Freak me out. What's a song you secretly love to blast when you're alone? 
Now this one's tough for me because I'm a pretty well-rounded person in terms of music. I like all sorts of music. I like anything that I can dance and sing to and then sometimes I like stuff that's more chill that I can just relax to. Um, yes, yeah, so I feel like nothing is too out of the box in terms of music. Um, but what I will tell you is that in the city I live in, we have a highway that wraps around the whole perimeter of the area and you can basically drive around it and then just jet back into the city when you want to. So lots of times I like to take that highway instead of driving actually in the city because then I feel like I have freedom to be who I want to be in my own vehicle. I'm also one of those people that thinks that in my vehicle it's my space and no one can see in which is not true at all, but I feel like I have more freedom on the highway. Freedom to sing how I want, freedom to be who I want to be, I, freedom to talk to myself, because I will often talk to myself in the vehicle. Maybe I need to pick my nose and I'm on the highway and I can do that, because don't lie, we all sometimes just have to pick our nose. So yes, I... Probably not the answer you were looking for, but that's how I was going to answer that question. Um, I like all sorts of music, so I don't know. Nothing's too strange. What's one of your biggest pet peeves? One of my biggest pet peeves is ungratefulness and entitlement. Um, similar to that, I hate, hate, hate when people cannot stand something that someone else does and thinks it's just unacceptable, but yet they can go around and do the same thing and it's completely fine for them. It's like, how dare you go and do this, but when I do it, it's completely warranted and it's not a big deal. So stuff like that I hate. I hate people who can't see the stone in their own eye and judge others and I don't like that. So that really annoys me. This one's funny. What's one of your nervous habits? I always, and my husband has picked up on it, so now I'm really like cautious that I don't do it. One of my nervous habits is fake yawning. Does anyone else do that? I don't know. I like, well, I don't know. I guess it comes off really fake. I'm not even going to pretend try it for you. Um, but it's like, yeah, I need to fill space or I'm bored or it's a nervous tick and I will fake yawn. Uh, what side of the bed do you sleep on? I sleep, okay, if this is the bed... Right side. I have always slept on the right side, don't know why, but that's the side I sleep on. Moving on. What was your first stuffed animal and its name? My first stuffed animal came from a garage sale. His name is Sammy. He cost one dollar. He has magical powers. He heals all of my ailments. Whenever I have a stomach ache, he makes it better. Whenever I have a headache, he makes it better. Whenever I just need the day to cuddle on the couch, he makes it better. I have thrown up on him. He has lost fur. He has lost his nose. Um, but he is the best stuffed animal ever. When I went on a Europe trip at 17, I took him with me. My best friends in uh, elementary school, they had stuffed teddy bears too, and they named them Sammy. Um, he was just kind of a big deal. He was notorious. And uh, now that I have children who are into stuffed animals, they are not allowed to play with him too much. He can... He can be in the crib, but he is mine. He is not there. So I am very protective of him. And yeah, I was very attached. What's the drink you always order at Starbucks? We have a thing in Canada called Tim Hortons, which is about a quarter of the price of Starbucks. And I am very cheap, so often I go there. But when I do want to splurge and go to Starbucks, because I do love Starbucks, I'll usually get anything from a green tea frappe to a green tea latte. I also really liked iced caramel macchiatos. Um, anything that's has a lot of whipped cream, a lot of sugar, and a lot of calories, that's what I order. I'll never go there and order an Americano or anything because, yeah, I'm not a big coffee drinker. There's got to be a lot of sweetness to it for me to drink it. So I just do that as a treat. Um, what's the beauty rule you preach but never actually practice? Okay, this one was easy for me. I think it is so important to cleanse your face and to wash your face before bed. I think it's terrible to put makeup on top of yesterday's makeup or on top of three-day-old makeup and just continue to clog your pores, especially with all of the junk that's in the drugstore products that most of us use. Um, yeah, I think you really just need to cleanse your face, and I am terrible at doing it. I'm tired at night. I don't want to take off my makeup, so I usually will just brush my teeth and go to bed. Now, to 
make sure I do do that, I'm going to start leaving my face wash in the shower because I find if I'm already in the shower, my face is already wet, I'm already cleaning my body anyways, then I'll actually wash my face. And I'm a night shower anyways. I do shower at night, so that would be a good routine for me to get my makeup off. We have a few more left. Which way do you face in the shower? Okay, so kind of the same tune. I actually don't know. I feel like I face... Do I face into the shower or away? I have no idea. But what I love doing is having a bower, which is a bath shower. I'm standing on my feet all day running after autumn. I don't want to stand in the shower. I want to sit. And I don't do it all the time because I do like to conserve water. But... Yeah, I just love sitting in a nice bubble bath with the warm water dripping over my face. That is total relaxing to me. Zephyr is stalking something out the window. I don't know if you can see. This is my dog. What you looking at? A car? Is that a car? Okay. Two more questions. Oh no, I have four more questions. There's lots left. Do you have any weird body skills? Yes, I do. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but I can pop out this little ball of like extra cartilage on my wrists. Um, it's really disgusting and I always make people touch it and it creeps them out, but I kind of like it. I kind of think it's kind of cool. So there's that. Also, my ears are two different sizes. I don't know if you'll notice, but there's a really big loop on this ear, like the curl, and I can fit my finger in it. And there is like almost zero curl on this side. Now when I was a baby, the doctors actually wanted to check out my kidneys because I guess your ears grow the same way as your kidneys. So if there's an abnormality with your ear, then chances are there could be an abnormality with your kidney. But nope, just got weird ears. I'm fine. <laughs> what is your favorite comfort food that's bad to eat for you but you love? Um, I don't know the answer to this one either, but what I will say is I would rather have seconds of food than dessert. I'm not really a sweets person. I'm definitely savory. I do like things with a lot of cream, a lot of cheese, and a lot of bread. I like casserole type foods that are definitely comfort food, but not good for you. And I was talking with a friend the other day that the vice of cheese and bread seems to cripple women way more than men. I don't know what it is, but women seem to love their cheese and love their bread. Comment down below if you think that's true. Okay, what's a phrase or exclamation you always say? This one I don't know. If I can think of one, I'll put one in an annotation. Um, I know I say okie dokie lots through text. I don't really say it in person, but I do respond to that way through text messages lots. Um, I don't know. I guess you just, you can never expect what I'm going to say. We'll just say that. Time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? Okay, if it's the end of the night and I've been wearing something that's relatively comfy, sometimes I won't even change, which maybe is terrible. I don't know. But our daughter's room is right across from our closet, right beside our bedroom, and she's a very light sleeper. So if I haven't gotten into my comfy lounge clothes or pajamas before she goes to bed, then sometimes it's not worth it for me to be pulling open drawers and banging around trying to find my pajama pants. Um, but if I do put my comfy lounge clothes on, it's nothing too cute, baggy shirt, sweatpants, pajama pants. Um, yeah, I really don't like my bare legs touching each other. Uh, I need to, if I, it's the summertime and it's hot, I need to like have like a sheet in between my legs. I don't like skin touching, so. That's another little weird thing about me. And that actually might wrap up our Q&A today. Yeah, it does. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my dog a bit more. Autumn is out on some errands with her dad so that I could get some of these videos done. So all you get to see for my kids today is my dog, Zephyr. And... Yeah, if you really like this video, please thumbs up, please subscribe. I would love to become friends with you. And if you want to see more tag videos, comment those down below. I like doing tags because it's an easy way for me to provide content with you that's already provided for me. Uh, this was really fun for me to do. Happy Saturday, guys. Bye.